Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I hope you are liking the Hadoop interview question series. Please subscribe to our channel and share videos with your friend. Please also let us know the feedback and also let us know what kind of other videos you would like to see. So today's Hadoop interview question is what kind of task should not be done on Hadoop? This is a very important question. It it uh, is generally asked by interviewer to understand that what is level of knowledge of the person who is giving interview so generally people who do not have practical exposure to Hadoop find it very difficult to answer this question and uh, they they may be able to give some examples but uh, you know, they find it very very unclear like uh, for what kind of task Hadoop cannot be used so first of all uh, Hadoop should not be used in a scenario where you have uh, small files and the amount of data is very less. So Hadoop is specifically designed for big data. Uh, only the applications who have huge amount of data should be using Hadoop. So uh, if you have you know a few hundred MBs of data, like 200 MB, 300 MB of data, it is you know wasted of your time uh, to uh, start building a solution on Hadoop. You could learn Hadoop with that uh, amount of data, but if you are planning to use a Hadoop cluster for processing 200-300 MB of data, you're wasting your time. Okay, so uh, next thing is that not all kind of problems are solvable or uh, good to be solved with Hadoop. Uh, so, like shortest path algorithm. So, if you uh, uh, so these kind of algorithms are iterative. So you cannot solve these problems within a single MapReduce job. You have to split your solution, your algorithm into multiple jobs and uh, then combine one job's output with the other job and make a chain of jobs and then only you will be able to uh, uh, get the final results. Uh, so this is uh, this is sometimes desirable some people are okay with it like uh, if, if you are writing a TF IDF algorithm and you are processing huge amount of data so in, in that case you will just need to uh, write uh, probably say two or three MapReduce job one for calculating term frequency another other for calculating uh, inverse document frequency uh, uh, and but then just you just need to combine the results of uh, these two jobs and you will get your results. So people who are not aware of TI, TF IDF, they should not worry. It is an algorithm normally used by you normally used in text analytics and NLP. Uh, so uh, that was one example where uh, within a single job you cannot fit, uh, you know, your uh, whole algorithm. You have to write multiple jobs to do a certain task. Uh, so and uh, Hadoop is also not good for uh, iterative kind of algorithms like k-means it's not uh, very very good for that you have to run multiple iterations of the same job and one iteration output is input to the next iteration uh, so you have to run multiple instances of your job one and after another chaining job chaining we call it in Hadoop terms uh, you have to do that uh, so Hadoop is also not good in caching the data so Spark actually comes into picture here and uh, Spark uh, uh, you know if you are processing the same data again and again then Spark can cache in Spark you can cache the data and deprocess it Hadoop is also not good when you have streamed input for streaming kind of applications when the data is coming in and you need to quickly, quickly send response back Hadoop is also not good for that. So, uh, so th that's the kind of uh, scenarios that I had for you. So, you can also say that uh, you know, uh, for putting a lambda architecture for machine learning applications, Hadoop is not good. So, that is also one case uh, in which Hadoop is not good. So, I hope this this video was helpful, folks. Uh, uh, do let me if you have any question. Do let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you know, please share your feedback. It will help us improve the content for you. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड शेयर द वीडियो